The martyrs of Korea, they were all lay people except one priest, I think. So I'd like you to know that one, we are all called to be holy, to be saints. And you can become a saint, a holy person, by letting your light shine wherever you are. Whether you are a doctor, whether you are a nurse, whether you are a married woman, a married man, an engineer, a, a politician, a businessman, a businesswoman, you, where you are, you must let your light shine. That see your good works, they may give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So my sons and my daughters, take it from me that holiness is our calling, all of us. Be holy for God is holy. And when we try to grow in holiness, we reflect more and more to the world what God is like. And you don't become holy just because you are praying holy, holy. You don't become holy only because you avoid sin. You become holy by doing what you have to do and doing it well. If you are a teacher, teach well so that the children will become somebody's in future. If yours is to cook for the children in school, please cook well for them with all the love and commitment so that when the children eat, they will be healthy and they will one day go on to become big personalities. If you are a doctor, make sure that the patients who are brought to you, it is not money you are looking at, it is the health of the patient that you are looking at. Do everything you can to save their lives. If you are a mechanic, please put your heart and soul in it. Make sure that the car that you have, you know, worked on is good and can run well and not get into accident for people to die. If you do whatever you do, conscientiously, with love and commitment, with a sense of responsibility to God, you are on the path to becoming a holy person. So let us be holy as the Heavenly Father is holy. Thank you very much.